I don't know how these mukbangers are keeping their food hot because yes. mine was sizzling and that's why I keep it on here. Because if you get at it immediately, obviously I have to set up this place. By the time I finish, thing was cold. Mm. But then you set it up before you go and bring it. That's what I should have done. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't quick enough. We're just talking randomly about the importance of moisturizing your feet because sometimes you'll be walking around town and you get an itch on your feet. And sometimes if your feet are crunchy and dry, they can be itchy. And then when you're out and about, you'll be stomping your feet and making all these weird movements, <laughs> scraping your feet along the floor just to scratch that itch. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one this has happened to before. It's so annoying when that happens. And when you're out and about, people think you're crazy. <laughs> We are doing all kinds of acrobatics to scratch that itch. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's bacteria in the shoes. I don't know. Where they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't say that. That's not bad. But. Eat like that. You need to buy new shoes frequently because the bacteria that's in these shoes. Every three months. I don't want to get money for every three months. For every three months. Every six months. You need to unsubscribe and live your life and save your coin. Oh, master, I don't so I really don't need it. Buy two and buy two. Yeah, we need to work out up in this thing. My belly is out of this world. Like a former co-worker of mine once said, Soms moet je maag ook knorren. Which means mm -hmm. sometimes your stomach needs to growl a little bit. When it does that, then you know you're in need of food. That is that is God's gift to man. It needs to be when you actually need it. And three times a day is good, but by the time you go for that second meal or that third meal, you need to be hungry enough to, you know. I feel like these people, these days people just do it just because. Oh, it's lunchtime. I'm not hungry, but let's go have something to eat. Let's go out for a meal. I'm like, huh? Yesterday at work, I could hear some guy talking to his mama. And it was all like, hmm. Combination of these three sauces is actually very nice. Yeah, I think next time I'll make my presentation a bit nicer. But anyway, he was all like, yeah, mm, something like, what are you doing for Christmas? Oh, we're going out for dinner. What are you doing for New Year's? Oh, we're going out for dinner. What are you doing for this one's birthday? I will go for dinner. I can't come here tomorrow because we're going out for a dinner. <laughs> like, Y'all really out here wasting money. Maybe they have their money. I don't care. Yeah. And even if you have the money, you can still use it wisely. Like, what the heck? Mm. Mm. You do, you'd be surprised to see how many people eat out and don't actually have any money. It's all about keeping up appearances. I don't, eat, I don't eat too much. So, if I go to a restaurant or something, I feel I'm wasting my mm. Yeah, the food, I can't finish it. Mm. And that's my problem. It's not that I can't afford going to a restaurant, but I think I'm being cheated on a good restaurant. Yeah. I've been to all you can eat before and eating like hmm. <laughs> yeah. Eating like five plates. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Together with my dad. We had five plates. When I say we couldn't walk, mm -hmm. I mean it took us a long periodic time to get to the car. But as my mom was just like, um, you guys are crazy. Why would you do that? You know that it's wrong to eat that much? You know what the Bible says about gluttony? You know, this is really bad. Look at you people now. Are you not ashamed of yourselves? You ate so much. And now look at you. You can't even talk. You can't even walk. You can't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst I've ever done. Not even Christmas. Because Christmas, you give yourself time, right? Maybe people come over or you're going somewhere. You spend a lot of hours. Mm, the first hour, you eat a little bit. Then you have a two-hour break. And we ask, hey, we are Africans now. We will boogie. Mm, 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 mm. Boogie to your sweat, then you go for your third round, and you boogie some more, you go for your fourth round, stuff like that, you know. When the restaurant you're there, it's like the time is so they're kind of limited. Or trying to get now, sometimes they literally give you a you know, sometimes they literally tell you, yeah, two hours or something, mm -hmm. then you gotta bounce because we got other people. They know, see, this is them. 
There's a whole documentary about this. They know. They know that you're not gonna be able to eat all that food. So they say you have two hours. Even if it's three hours, you're not gonna be able to eat up to the amount of the sixteen ninety nine that you're paying, right? I had to correct myself. Do not eat in this position. Dangerous. So you know you're gonna eat about five pounds worth. The food is exceptionally flavorful. I'm sure most of it has got MSG. That stuff is no good though. You can get it in bulk at a cheaper price and then sell it for mad, 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 mad cash. Mm.